Next up on the entertainment news, big winners at the Emmys 2002. The 2022 Emmys Awards returned to the Microsoft Theater after a two-year absence during the ongoing coronavirus that saw the ceremony moved to the Crypto.com Arena in 2020 and the event deck at LA Live in 2021. The 74th Primetime Emmys was full of standout moments and historic milestones and one of the great moments was the spotlight being on Zendaya, who became the youngest ever two-time winner in the Outstanding Lead Actress in the drama series. The star took home the coveted Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series Award for her performance such as Addiction Play Teen, Rue Bennett in HBO's Euphoria, which is the same role she won the same award for in 2020. HBO's The White Lotus tops the list bagging five wins. Apple TV Plus, Ted Lasso closely behind with four wins and HBO's Succession with three wins. Winners were unveiled in 25 competitive categories from Best Comedy, Drama and Limited Series to Best Lead and Supporting Performances to Best Directing and Writing in various genres. HBO's The White Lotus was one Outstanding Limited Series or Anthology Series. Moray Ballet won Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Limited Series or Anthology Series or Movie. Jennifer Coolidge won Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Limited Series or Anthology Series or Movie while Mike White won Outstanding Writing for a Limited Series or Anthropology Series or Movie, and Outstanding Directing for a Limited Series or Anth Anthology Series or Movie. Apple TV Plus' Ted Lasso won Outstanding Comedy Series. Jason Sudeikis won Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. Brett Goldstein won Outstanding Supporting Actor in a, co in a Comedy Series, while MJ Delaney won Outstanding Directing for a Comedy Series. HBO Succession won Outstanding Drama Series. Matthew McFadden won Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. And Jesse Armstrong won Outstanding Writing for a Drama Series. For Netflix Squid Game, Lee Jun Jae, Lee Jun Jae won Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series, making him the first Asian actor to win Lead Actor in a Drama and the fourth Asian person to win an Acting Emmy while Hyung Dung Yuk won Outstanding Directing for a Drama Series. American singer Lizzo also became a first-time winner at the Emmys this year, taking home the award for Outstanding Competition Series for Amazon show Watch Out for the Big Girls. And Sherry Lee Ralph earned her very first Emmy also for Outstanding Supporting Actress in the Comedy Series for her role on Abbott Elementary. Other first-time winners include Quinta Brunson and Gerard Carmichael. Of course, Outstanding Variety Sketch Series was also won by NBC's Saturday Night Live. Yeah, um, uh, congratulations to every single person. Um, maybe the one that was, I wouldn't say shocking, but the one that was like, oh, okay, was Lizzo's uh, show, Watch Out for the Big Girls. I absolutely love her because, I mean, she's all about body positivity. She's always, every single time you see her, that's the message she's pushing. Um, yeah, I, I normally know that RuPaul's Drag Race kind of just always it's swoops that. It's a bit conversation. Which too. is, yes, which is, all, <laughs> which is also a whole other vibe. Yeah. So um, congratulations to her, congrats to every single person that picked up an award. It yeah. was major, it was such a beautiful night. Yeah, the, 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 the Emmys is like the, the Oscars for TV yeah. series. Yeah, and I'm not really a fan of TV series. So, yeah, you don't so have the patience. Of, <laughs> because I don't have the time to start binge watching. <laughs> and virtually all of this, yeah. I, I think the one that I even wanted to try to watch is of Korea. Because yeah. of the madness really? all around. Yeah. I still haven't seen because it. Because of the madness all around. People talking about it. And it's crazy how Zendaya, Zendaya. won for Euphoria the previous season mm -hmm. last time. And mm -hmm. now, because you know it's a continuation. Yeah. Yeah. A new season, she's winning again. Like, stop it. And that's, that's what they call young and getting it. That's the strain. So the thing about series for me is just... After a while, I think the storylines get stretched oh, out. Yeah. And then it depends, get... though. Uh, there are some series that used to choke, please. Mm -hmm. I was watching one yesterday. Some series one. choke. Um, it's about monsters on Netflix. Three monsters. Three. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm like... Then I just got tired yeah. at some point. Yeah. Shout out. Shout, shout out to um, all of these streaming platforms. All of them are yeah. really cashing out. Yeah, cashing yep. out. Yeah. yeah. HBO, Apple TV, yeah. and all of them. Yeah. That's where you get to see most mm -hmm. of the series being on. So massive congratulations to everybody. All right.